Hey there, good morning. Blake Marar with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. Today we're at 103 Sand Hill. Really looking forward to sharing this house with you. This home is just over 5,800 square feet. It's uh, six bedrooms, six full baths, two car garage, and it is right at the gateway of Sand Hill Park, which uh, for those of you that know in phase three, this is known as the, the frog pool, right? Doesn't everybody know that the frog pool is here? Anyway, let's go check it out. Uh, this home was architecturally designed by T.S. Adams Studio out of Atlanta with the rock solid office here locally. Uh, but let's just kind of start here. We have a really pretty sitting area, gorgeous porch. And uh, we have opportunities to swing. And uh, it's gorgeous. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit about the detail. Gorgeous kitchen island. Covered in marble. Beautiful pendants. Wolf 36 inch. Range with oven. Gorgeous. This looks like a, looks like a nickel hood. And uh, love that backsplash as well. Have a wolf oven and steam oven here with really pretty cabinets. Backsplash is marble throughout. Gorgeous undermounted sink, and we have two dishwashers. I love it when they do that. Sub-Zero refrigerator with freezer drawers, two of those. And then here we actually have, this is where you hide things. We have a microwave, toaster, coffee mugs, and just overall storage. Very functional, out of the way. And a uh, big fan of this little butler's pantry, which is uh, you can close this off hide things in here, store things in here. Um, so we have 12 foot ceilings, hand hewn beams, and uh, dining for eight. Sitting for several. Gorgeous fireplace, so gorgeous that uh, they don't even use it. It's so pretty. Just a stone cast, gorgeous mantle. You know, very well designed. You'll see all the window treatments, which really Florida, well, all the way to the ceiling. And uh, a lot of really nice detail. Um, you know what? I'm just going to give you a little glance. I may tease you. Pool area with a great water feature. Screened in cabana. Great place to watch a ball game flanked with gas lanterns. Seating easily for five with what you see here. And um, 
round table of four. Now here you have a excellent grill area with refrigerator for sodas, cold beer, etc. But the uh, pool area is fantastic. And then up here, which I'll get to, is the carriage house above the two-car garage. So let's go check out the rest of the house. Let's check out powder room quarters. Really pretty. Vertical tongue and groove. We have a linen wallpaper. Marble. And uh, looks like a living nickel finish. Pedestal with a beachy mirror. Very pretty. Gorgeous light fixture. Um, okay, walk in here and we have a really functional laundry room with two sets of washers and dryers, folding room, undermounted sink, lots of cabinets, pretty backsplash, wall coverings. You can stop and read that if you want because that's a really nice quote. And then this actually hides away with a barn door. Thank you for doing that. And then let's not forget the detail of the transom window. Thank you, T.S. Adams. Uh, as we walk toward the master, we have a corridor that gets to see the pool. An absolute beautiful master bedroom. I think at the plate height here is probably 12 feet and probably goes up three to four feet. So you got plenty of volume here, very roomy, king size bed. Really pretty double vanity. Marble countertops. You know, really when you take the time and you look at the detail that was put into the marble tile. Just so thankful when people hire an amazing team to handle all the details, water closet, master closet. You can see all that's ample. We won't spend too much time there, but just know that you have, you have plenty of room. Um, move through the hallway just before we get up to the uh, go upstairs we have a downstairs office that's right off the front door with windows here and remember that gorgeous porch setting that's right here uh, we have that and you slow down and check this out we've got we're gonna come in off the beach, hang out here. We've got uh, just a little bench area. But this is what I really appreciate here. Okay, so we have a shower. You can do your thing in here and not really worry about anybody seeing what's going on. So fantastic. And then really you've got a uh, you've got steps that lead out and then really go straight out to Sand Hill Park. So that's a big plus. Being on the park is definitely a premium location. It's, uh, people use that park. A lot of people walking, jogging, getting out and about, but to be on the park is definitely a premium. So let's go upstairs. Maybe you can speed up through this. Now this porch is also on the front. It stacks directly above the one that I just showed you.
These oaks provide privacy from the park. Flanked by gas, buffalo lanterns, Shea sitting area. Great place for your second floor guests to come enjoy. We have deal maker. This is where the deals are made. So it's an upstairs office stacked right on top of the, uh, the other office I just showed you right on the front of the house. Check out the second bedroom. This is situated with a queen. All of these rooms are really nice sized fit and finish. Fantastic marble. Took the time to do a design, marble countertops, just super cute. Walk-in closet, I'm not gonna kill you with that. Okay, we're gonna hang a left. We're gonna check out the bunk room. This may be one of the coolest bunk settings I've seen. So let's, let's check it out. Gorgeous detail here. Everything ties in beautifully. If you notice, we have ladders to get up where we need to go. And caddy corner. Hope I'm not swinging you around too much. And how about this? Trough sink for the kids. Love that. Stand up. Shower just around here is a water closet that hides. And as far as closets go, we got them. Right across the way, king size bed, room for bedside tables. Looking down right over the pool. Looks like about a two inch hexagon marble pattern. Gorgeous. Walk in closet here as well. You know what? I'm going to turn that around. I really don't have a good sense of direction, do I? So this is the upstairs. We'll consider this a junior master. So large king size, uh, king size bed, vaulted ceilings, room for a sitting area, and uh, have double vanities and marble floors, hidden water closet. and a junior master sized closet. Okay, so that's uh, four bedrooms on this level. One downstairs, that's five in the main house, and then upstairs, I mean, excuse me, in the carriage house, we have the sixth bedroom. This is this space right here is, is is big, so it's big in size. I think it's also very meaningful to a family. You've got room to watch movies, hang out, relax. We can play games here. So cute too. And then I love this sectional. We can also play a little air hockey, and if you're not barefooted. And you're overdressed. Ha. Huh. Okay. This right here, we're just going to get into storage. Yeah, we got storage. We got storage for days. Okay. So that's dressed down. Let's dress it up. So if we have games like they do, we got room here. Okay. And 
in. This is where the brains of the house live. I didn't really get into this, but this home features control four throughout the house. Handles, uh, and you can see, I know it's dark, but you can see you have so much storage here. But control four uh, handles thermostat, pool, water feature, um, sound. Anyway, there we go. So I love the location in phase three of watercolor. So many beautiful amenities to enjoy at watercolor. This house puts you in prime position to have quick access. Your walkability is excellent here. Um, this room, just the scale of this is just a room you really have to see. It's just so roomy and feels good. Gives everybody room to really spread out. Let's go check out the, uh, the carriage house. So two car garage. We have another shower for the second shower, right off the pool. And then how cute this is. So if you draw this straw, you know what you have to go out to the carriage house. I'm all right with that. I can just drop these blinds and catch a nap in the afternoon right there. And then I'm gonna get the big nap. I'm doing it here. King size bed, plenty of room for bedside tables. One of the things that I love about the way they did this house is usually in a carriage house, they really back off of finishes. We have marble countertops, marble floors. Looks like a three or four inch hex marble there. And, uh, it's almost a herringbone pattern in the shower. And uh, true to form, hidden water closet, underrated. And then we have its own closet right here with stackable washer and dryer. So I'm independent, full size as well. I'm independent of the main house here. I can come and go. And nobody in the main house is going to feel that disruption or anything you might consider that to be. And I get to enjoy the pool here. Remember, master bath hallway, see if I can get that right, right there. And then this is the master. Straight ahead the living area, or kitchen rather, dining. And then straight ahead is the living area. Four chaises here. Have a sun shelf. Anyway, pretty excited about this one. Share with me your thoughts there. Please mash the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, this is in Watercolor, Florida, 103 Sand Hill Circle. Beautiful home. Thankful to be representing it. Until next time, Blake Marar with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty.